integral. Due to the arrival from the south of men and their cattle, the rains run down the tightly packed hills into the tightly packed streams instead of sinking into the once permeable soil, carrying away the silt and flora eroding the banks. The creek used to be lined with plants. These plants cleaned the water, held the sediment and silt. They took, a, took and returned just the right amount, ensuring stability. Deer grass, sea thrift, blue-eyed grass, Berkeley sedge, Ceanothus mugwort. Tres, la reflexión entre la casa del aprendizaje y el bosque. Que yo sea un desahualcoyo cuando sea, as if I could be, such a noble beast, such a flowery man, a California lilac wild with native roots, or orange, the state's blossom. West Coast rising to meet me in venison vision, a dream to dance, a call to dream, Guaracha prancing, third eye chasing deer movement. Two hind paws, un perro perdido, prodigal hindsight on oakland leaves, hungry and in famine. Waiting for the fire, waiting for my hard head to burst piñon, and my heart to strike against mahogany obsidian. To learn to love stone, to grow sapling from ash, to stretch limbs, to photosynthesize the sun's movement to bleed amber, to walk a path, leaf soft. <clears throat> Amalgamations. Costeño, people of the coast. Castano in the settler tongue. Costeño, castano, cooked in a tongue twist of sea salt and acorn stew, and you became ungainly Costanoan, or as it fell upon your ears, alone as Ohlone, which might have been a name of place or orientation towards the house of the sun. O oh, Ohlone, truly is this pleasing to your ear, truly does this fabrication suit you, suit the time, fiction for our human situation. Pacific Coast Colonials. <clears throat> to give the crown such a valuable toehold in the frontier land, el presidio. To give the church such a precious ledge on God's earth, la misión. And so militancy and religion, the sword and the cross, bear down against the redwood and all its shelter, the tall grass and all its baskets, the hill clay and all its pottery, the obsidian and all its points, the oak and all its nourishment, the elder bush and all its medicine. Objectives for the 21. <clears throat> Convert. Conduct mass on days of high obligation. Educate. Establish settlements in areas of high concentrations. Civilize. Force their resettlement. Never stray from the coast. Other aims, integrate, assimilate the neophytes into Spanish society, train in ownership and management of the land. Ghost beads, Father Junipero Serra at my back, juniper berries across the chest, leafing through a lonely feather skirts, I'm searching for a beginning, sifting through quaint starts to see on what ground stands this new world, dredging the old road of Alta California, the old new world. Shapeshifting. 
passive, refuse to learn the tongue, feign ignorance of command, perform slow and poor labor, practice infanticide and abortion, practice tradition in secret to reverse the baptisms. Fugitivism, run away from the labor mills, be fit for the run, healthy for the hiding, overt, raid the stocks, sicken the padres, rise in mass. Long count. For thousands of years, a gathering of tulis, a binding of bulrushes, a tuning of eagle bone, a napping of flint, a weaving of tall grass, a managing of the forest, a stringing of abalone shell, a drilling of the fire, a flicking of turkey feathers, a building of the longhouse, a practicing of the earthways. This will be the last piece in this little collection. Um, oh. Of might. Might there have been poet warriors, mud plume slingers, call them tar flickers. If there ever existed such a thing, may it exist now. And then, might there be more of such colonial terrors, such indigenous daughters, such native sons, such non-conforming children, tlaquilos of the smoking tongue, obsidian scribes and conch shell singers, colibri vatos aquellos, hummingbird homegirls for the cause. Might there be more than so-called brown blight on the gentle development, call them ruby-throated shot collars, calling the jaguar thundercats on the boulevard to recover to relearn, to reclaim. Yeah. Woo! Right. Oh, thank you. Um, I have a few more that I want to get into. Um, and on this film for the Thundercats. Thundercats. I hope this means I'm going to be less sick of that. <laughs> not more sick. Alright, Thunder Cats. Cats with the thunder in their voice box. A rumble in the throat. Beast most forward for the word. A quick strike of the pen. Beckoning the voice of El Barrio. Call of the hood. Cats with the thunder in their voice box. Call it corner store folklore. Scribes of the concrete petroglyphs. American artists who rock well with sunshine cooled in their back pockets. Cats with the thunder in their voice box. Sharpie garras leaving their mark on the cement thickets. Rio Grio poetas, artistas of el mero mero alurista, sonrisa raza roja, cats with the thunder in their voice box. There are no funerals for seeds. <clears throat> Actually, um, I'm going to read some, a line in Spanish and then the translation. Um, and I am thankful for this translation uh, to my friend, Morelia Vivas. There are no funerals for seeds. Quisieron enterrarnos, pero no sabían que éramos semilla. They meant to bury us, but they didn't know we were seeds. And that's been attributed to Subcomandante Galeano, formerly Subcomandante Marcos. There are names embroidered on banners. Banners adorned with brilliant flowers. Flowers seated by the hands of those who call out the names, names spoken aloud as invocations, 43 resonant appellations. These are not new names, but old. And there are not only 43, but many thousand, many more, they are flower beds raised into social oblivion by armed men. Now what if these 43 embroidered names, these potent flowers, and the many thousands and many more were poems, purposely hidden from world views, intentionally blacked out, banned from the library of our collective measure, people poems succumbed by the state's erasure, 
holes dug in the field of a collective memory, count them. Count them countless, count them red stars screaming 43 names, 43 dandelion seeds on the wind, tagging the social fabric soaked with the perspiration of denouncement, 43 seeds, 43 flowers, 43 poems, targets of erasure, read between the lines in the soil, between lips sealed and stamped, waxing hegemony, bulging with colonized memory, speak them 43 names normalized, for the disappeared are only dead when they cease to be invoked, call them names on the wind, 43 yeah. seeds, 43 flowers, 43 poems, targets of erasure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <clears throat> um, this is a, a poem and a letter that I wrote uh, to Mr. Eric Gardner, who rest in power. Um, if you don't know who Eric Gardner was, you might want to question your existence right now. <laughs> <laughs> letter to Eric Gardner, 3 December 2014. Oh, Eric, what a precedent we set, stamped, an arbitrary gaze is firm. America is burning, and rightfully so. This the land of strong man and gun, where no chokeholds, chokeholds barred, and we are holding each other in living rooms, dead siding the screen, in cars, ears hard pressed against news. There is more than a knot in our throats. We are more than sad, we are sadness. Not angry, but anger, desire. We want a justice of daily living, fully living and not being murdered. We are integral, not to be erased. Each of us a stout torch ignited ablaze. Your strangled words a call for wind to carry each of us a flame to burn wild and beautiful, wild and beautiful. May we sweep through the superstructures imposed May we light up the dark and pressed upon our collective shine. Spark, flare, blaze, stir, provoke, convert, construct, refine, remodel, shift, advance, transform. Right, so I've got two more. Um, this next one is, is after a, a poem written by Nassim Hikmet. Um, and he wrote a poem uh, titled, Some Advice to Those Who Will serve time on the inside uh, as a facilitator of the arts on the inside I kind of wrote this to myself uh, it's some advice to those who will facilitate arts on the inside. if instead of landing that ideal gig at the university or the live workspace with studio stage and gallery you find yourself volunteering with people you ain't never known whose lives you may have only seen at the margins do say that it is a big thing it is like the blossoming of a gnarly tree in winter to the person inside. Do tell the people on the inside about your life, about your struggle as an artist trying to make ends meet, trying to forge your artistry with social responsibility about the margins you write, paint, and perform your way out of. You may not always understand a point of view or bit of prison politics, but remember, don't trip about the difference for inside you'll find fields of flowers. In every incarcerated person, a bit of soil to nourish. Think about the seeds and tools that art can offer, but always be mindful of your privileges. Listen to the nuance of a gesture. Catch the shine in one's eyes when something you present resonates in the soul and the group clicks and you experience a moment of solidarity. But don't ask for personal revelations on the first day, first month even. The work behind the walls takes time. Remember how long it took for you just to get in, how long a person locked up has been waiting. Bear in mind the weight of a sentence. And if the people you learn with and work with get transferred, put in the hole, or released, keep the memory of them alive in the space between the fire in your chest and the light within your skull, for they are people, much even like you, sucker punched by circumstance, searching for the viability of their craft, and shining in the dimmest of places. <clears throat> cool, thank you. Um, this is the, my, my last piece for the evening. Uh, and I, 
and this is the first time I read this, so this is going to either be really good or we'll see how it goes. Um, but I was thinking about the story, uh, the traditional First Nations story um, of uh, Raven steals a sun back. Um, and initially I wanted to do a retelling of it, uh, but it ended up being sort of a meditation, so here it goes. Who took the stun? Who stole it? Who hid it? We out here waiting on the sun's return. Who stole the sun? Who took it? Who hid it? Or is it hiding behind a shark skin grin beneath the transit village blueprint? And we got homies waiting to come home. Homies waiting for a place to call home. Homies ain't got a home. Rolling stones in the rock tumbler of the gentry connoisseur. Who took the sun? Who stole it? Who hid it? And which one of us is going to be raving, taking off to the big house up north to take back what's ours? Who but us will bring back our son? Who but us with fistful of medicine and power will bring back the son? Where is Raven? Here the homie on the block. Where is Raven? Here the Mayan mother with baby on her back. Where is Raven? Here the longshore worker. Here the current of formerly incarcerated. Here the organizer in her red shirt. Here the mentor, the guide, the advisor. Here the game recognized game. Here be Raven about to take flight. Who took the sun? Who stole it? Who hid it? Hear you to challenge the madness. Awaken the message. Paint the vision, paint the vision, paint the vision. Hold up the block with rights to the city. Rights to not be profiled, not be stopped, not be harassed. Hold it up from soil beneath asphalt to sky above it all. Hold it up. Hold on to it. Hold out for it. Hold up the sky, homie. Hold up the sky, comrade. Your great grandmama bore your mama who bore you for it. Raven is a black boy. Could be a brown boy, definitely a red blood bone girl, for sure a rad ass binary breaker, some sweet glorious non-conforming mischief maker. Who stole the sun? Who took it? Who hid it? See Raven on a child's dare to dream of the return of the light. Who took the sun? Who stole it? Who hid it? See Raven on a child's dare to dream of the return of the light. Thank you. <laughs>
your mind.